Okay, uh, but then uh, once the budget's announced, basically there's nothing else, right? So back to the number again, the market movement. All right. So uh, my view is that uh, this once it's complete, the bounce probably by you know, by Wednesday, maybe you already seen the what be the high, and then we're coming down. The coming down can be quite severe, and it's quite likely that it will take away the previous low, and going down further. All right. If you are, if you want to measure the target, how far it can go down, if you take this wave one as the the different, this wave one length, and then from here project it down, STI index is quite likely to go up to one three fifty, or possible even one two hundred. Right. About that. Okay. If you look at the. Uh, Shanghai monthly in January. Shanghai monthly actually hit the important support at 1007, and then after that bounce up, and been consolidating. Uh, you look at the on the daily chart. The consolidation, in fact, is still below that trend line, and it shows to me that uh, this kind of uh, consolidation probably will will take. A while more before it start moving up, which means that uh, while other market like U.S. or Singapore market start coming down, it probably trade on the near this this range. Uh, while before once it complete, then market move up together. Oh, huh? it also to me that it seems that this is trying to form a process of round bottom. So, of course, this in this kind of scenario also tells us that most likely. In the next phase of the market moving up, the China market looks like it's uh, probably the one that will lead the market. Okay, look at the Hang Seng Index. Hang Seng Index in December, I show this chart. It come down, hit the major trend line support, and then it's bouncing up. In January, it still trade within this range. But if you look at the the daily chart actually is the very bearish. Daily chart, this is the December last month. I showed it to you this chart. I said that it's possible of a rising wage. Uh, it's true enough. The movement actually fall in exactly what it is. It got up, down, up, down, up, down. The disturbing part is looks like, in fact, the past two days it's already trade below this. Rising wage, the trend line, and also the it also the ADX also starts pointing that it's possible a new trend has been start building up, which means that it's downtrend. All right. So all this, uh, if you look into the be it the uh, U.S. market, be it Hong Kong market, be it Singapore market, even even Nik Nikkei, which I never showed to you, it's the same. All these actually. Showing telltale signs that uh, we are actually approaching to another wave of selling down. The first and one very obvious one you can see is like some banks in US, like yesterday, Bank of America, Citibank, all these are actually tra trading at a new low, much lower than the November 21st, the low in the market. And uh, last time when the market start coming down, also lead by the, the banks. And uh, you can see that they hit a new low, and then the market indexes, all the technical picture also turning bearish. It is actually very, very difficult to, uh, to uh, turn out from here. Uh, of course, uh, we, don't, we, don't, uh, we don't actually rule out any possibilities, uh, but the odd is actually well, from here bouncing up is very low, unless uh, unless take for example uh, the STI index, if by anyhow it break back above this level, the one nine one nine one nine sixty like one nine five nine plus, huh? above that then perhaps. Uh, the another wave structure that we have to to re-examine, but right now, at this point in time, 
looking at the technical picture, looking at global uh, market indexes, looking at some of the stocks, especially the banks in US, uh, looks like the odd is much, much favoring the coming down. Huh? Well, uh, I still can recall when market go up all the way here, somewhere in uh, early January, January 2nd, January the 7th, even the January 7th, when market is so bullish, everybody is talking, wow, starting of the year, we, market is moving up, whereas here it will go, it looks like it's a good year for, for the bull. Huh? So at that point in time also, very difficult to say, to, to tell you that market is turning down. Probably don't believe. Even myself, actually, at a point in time, I already don't have positions. Just waiting for market to, to tell me. But this break, 1933, the previous top. So it looks like positive. And I, in fact, to be honest, on that particular day, on the 7th of January, I actually opening, I turn long, go in and buy. I bought Costco, I bought Straits Asia, I bought Costco, Straits Asia, and then Capital Land. And I uh, can still recall, uh, like Costco, I bought at 102, and I tried to, they may try to move up, break 105, testing one time, testing two times, testing three times, fail coming down, coming down. And then, how I look at reference, education also moving, jump in again, bought at 61 cents. <laughs> After I buy, eh, nobody want to move up. <laughs> 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 and then uh, I start seeing, wow, STI hit the resistance 1960. Hang Seng hit the resistance 15700 plus, and then turning down, turning down. And then head share also start turning down, and look at head share is look at leading the way. Don't know what's happening, but apparently it seems like the buying power is start fizzing off. So, at that point, I start getting out my, my long already, square off. Uh, and Costco managed to scratch, no losses. Capland lost some, but gained some in straight Asia. Net net, actually not. Didn't make, uh, didn't lose uh. So instead of, uh, so at that point in time, then when H shares start coming down, and I decide to turn shopping. So I sh and shop most of the time actually during that day, and it uh, happened that when it closed, closed near the low, which is. Turned out to be a, like a day, day reversal bar. So that made me quite comfortable. And since then, from the next day, it kept down, and that is the story. So that, that's all. And uh, it's all the way down, continue for five days. And uh, yesterday, do have a bit of bounce up. I think Monday should have a bit of bounce up because Friday is up higher. Ma. And then <coughs> Monday night, nobody. Ma. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then Tuesday got Obama become president, la. so the bull are trying to come in, la, which is give good opportunity also when it's bounce up to short sell la, or to add some more. Right. So what I'm trying to tell you is that uh, market do have the volatility, especially after the past two months, the VIX, the CRB uh, volatility index even have uh, start moving up again. Uh, ever move move above 50 plus 60 and then trading used to be trading below 40 already so it looks like this volatility uh, in the market is going to pick up again and uh, during this period of time from now until middle of February is the corporate announcing time like I told I think I've told you before in December was saying that uh, this round of a corporate result going to be very, very bad. Why? Because there are some reasons also for management to be to make it very, very bad. First, last year, since the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, already seen lost money, no bonus. So, come fourth quarter, must as well take possible losses for this year 2009, any possible losses, just put it on the fourth quarter. Ah. Add up together, also losses, no, anyway, no bonus. Ah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> then, at least it's cut scratch. Hopefully, market can pick up. And then, then uh, you can see a lot of uh, corporate uh, CEOs have been telling 
the analyst very bad, very bad. You know, next next quarter is going to be very, very bad, very bad. So the analyst will say, oh, very bad. And then I, <laughs> <laughs> I mark down the expectation. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So all these potential losses, all this already covered in last year. So first quarter, you may see some good result, no? Yeah, good result in the sense that oh, better than expectation. <laughs> All right. So hopefully, the year 2009 can come better and then make some profit at least by end of the year can get some bonus. Huh? Right? Makes sense, right? Huh? <laughs> anyway, this is, well, this is possible. If you look at the chart also, after this selling down, we are likely to see probably in a, the next, after this completion, the three to six months of rally, and uh, that's what people are saying that uh, the rebounds are because by then a lot of stimulus package also will work through it and you can perhaps see some result coming in but I doubt that's the end of the bear market uh, by then oh. reason for coming this selling down because every company are trying to show that bad fourth quarter result U.S. banks such as BOA, CD Bank also hit new low already the past two days. It's quite likely that uh, Congress is going to reject the Obama new stimulus package of $850 billion. Uh, They're going to put it forward uh, for the vote, I think, on the 28th of January. As usual, uh, whether they agree or not agree, the first s submission sure must reject first. <laughs> <laughs> That's to show that they are working, right? <laughs> and that will actually create negative impact to the market. Right? And then slowly, slowly they work it on, and maybe after that they assign it. And of course, economic data for the next few weeks is going to be very weak anyway. You know that uh, December retail sales are not good, and then housing, not to mention, all this data will be bad. Lah, huh? And from now until actually Obama, the government start taking fully function it. It's still not on the twentieth. Probably it will drag until probably February. Right? Of course, unemployment will getting worse and getting more and more. Every time you see unemployment, jobless claim will be bad. Unemployment will be bad. A lot of people holding back the retrenchment just for the new year. After new year, we have more. Singapore also after Chinese New Year probably have more bad news. Huh? So all these are actually pointing to a likelihood that for the next couple of weeks at least, until middle of February, well, more, most likely market are coming down. Huh? Well, first, there are, those lecturers are actually the trader themselves, and then uh, the system is basically very simple, effective, and the automation going on. Of course, uh, I have to stress that their system is trend-following, so sometimes like the recent wave fall movement up and down, you cannot use a train following system because it's always laggard behind. And by the moment they tested that need to buy, right markets change already. Right? Uh, of course, uh, for them, they also have a strong follow-up facilities like the trading hub available, the monthly coaching by lecturer himself, and weekly gathering the share of their trading experience with the mentorship and the active forum for you to discuss certain stocks. And for... For the lecturer himself, also a good knowledge in psychology and money management. Right? When you talk about money management, obviously, like when you build your portfolio, you always remember you need to have a stop loss uh, point for your all the stocks. Obviously, the best po best entry point is when you buy something or you sell something. After that, you never see your level anymore, and you can hold on with a profit all the way. It's possible. Because, uh, for example, like the the seven January, the key reversal move up down. If you if you dare to sell at that time, because uh, market actually everybody is all bullish. You dare to sell at that time, and then market close at the near the bottom. Next day, gap down. Whatever you sell at during that time, basically you 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 have the pro profit cushion to, to cushion you off. You don't really have much stress of holding the positions or anything. So these are some of the entry points that is important. It doesn't mean that your view correct that now, okay, market is coming down, then it's okay. You just close your eye blindly, just to go and sell it. Because entry point is also 
affect your your holding power, affect your mental. For example, if you sell, then after that market start bouncing back up. You feel I'm very uncomfortable. You cut it, then market coming down again. When it's coming down again, I'm sure you don't want to sell it anymore, right? You get hurt already. <laughs> but true enough, this time coming down a lot, and then you get even more hurt. <laughs> so these are the the things that has always happened as a trader or investor. So you always want to time the the entry point, uh, and also try to find you that. Of course, nobody can be perfect. Sometimes you are wrong. Somewhere wrong, there's no choice of cut loss. Huh? This is uh, the, always the case. Uh, cut loss is, don't take it too seriously. It's just a, uh, just said, uh, it's the same button anyway. <laughs> <laughs>